Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and turn the great strategy games. Today, back into Warplan Pacific. This is April 26th of the year 1942, and we're hovering over the United States West Coast. And let's start going uh, into the game. Let's just get moving. Now, we've already deployed our units this turn. Uh, just to make sure, let's just go down our checklist, make sure that we don't have any other units that could be put on the map. It looks like we do not. Combat log. What happened last time? What, oh my gosh. Well, a lot happened last time, it seems. Uh, we had partisan activity in China. They continue to do good work on those uh, Japanese, now Japanese rails, originally Chinese rails out in the hinterlands of China. Um, okay, partisans, partisans, everywhere are partisans. We had a convoy attack. What happened here? Uh, oh, I think we actually maybe looked at some of this. Uh, the grayling, no losses, okay. We had a carrier strike against the grayling. Nothing happened there. Now that, okay, so I went back and read the rule book. If you look at the table that's in the rule book that says uh, naval permission, it says that uh, carrier groups are not allowed to attack subs. But if you read further on, it says that they attack them just as if they were air units, all right? Obviously, carriers can attack subs. That's exactly what happened here. So I'm not sure why the Hermes cannot. Uh, until we talk to the developer or one of you guys knows, I just don't know why the Hermes, and we talked about this last time, the Hermes is over in Colombo. Well, hell, we're almost in Colombo. We may as well go look at it. It's in Colombo here. We have a Japanese sub down here. We are not able to attack it. On uh, where uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, naval air, air interdiction. Okay. We did a naval airstrike. Okay. Excellent. Uh, right here. Uh, that's because we're on full support. And so as soon as we saw this task force come over here, we went after it. Um, the defender here, so this was the ninth coastal group, was the defending ships. We did get a hit on, in on that. Okay, bully for us. Uh, we did get a hit in on the coastal group. Then we had another naval airstrike. This gave the Grayling two more death points. Uh, looks like the Grayling is gone, unless I moved it. I think I moved it. It actually only took two hit points. That's right. It would tell us it was sunk here. Um, and so it took two of its three hit points here uh, from a naval airstrike from the 5th Air Division. What the hell are you guys doing? Come out here flying at subs. Anyway, Grayling had to retreat out. We've taken that down. We're trying to take it to Sydney. we got another naval airstrike. What is going on here? The bullhead was hit by air. Not hit, though. They tried. Uh, the bullhead said, nope, not happening. Uh, and, and steams on past the Gilbert Islands. We had a lot of combat, uh, land combat here in China. Of course, we're almost always uh, the defender. And as you can see, they had three to one odds on us. We had Woods was our only bump there. Uh, we did take one strength loss, but so did they. Uh, another one. Okay, so this was the same battle. Uh, right here is where this is all going on. They're coming across a river. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, times 0 0.5. I'm assuming that's a bad thing. Uh, because the 12th Army coming across that uh, is going to, you know, obviously hurt its combat effectiveness. Uh, another ground strike. Okay, right there. We had... Oh, this was an air? Yeah, air to air, Axis attacking. Oh, okay, so that was just the air up at the top. Uh, 15th Air Division took one first IAF, which is our group. It's the uh, Indian planes that we have up here right there. They took three hits. Okay, uh, another ground strike, uh, one and two. Ouch, we're getting hit a little bit hard there. And then we had a land air strike. That's evidently what was going on. They were attacking. 
uh, into our second and third brigade, and our guys were trying to interdict that. Uh, land combat. Okay, there was also an attack there. They took a loss. We did not. Excellent. And But we did have to retreat. So we did retreat out of, uh, what is that, Mandalay, probably? I'm hovering. I'm hovering. Yeah, we'll go down there and check it out in a minute. Um, we were defending again here in China. We always seem to be defending. We did lose one in the air and one on land. They also lost one in the air. We had the flying tigers up. All right. Uh, that's always exciting. Flying tigers were very, very effective. We've now built them up into an effective force in this game. Uh, they started off pretty weak. I think maybe not. They weren't that weak historically, but uh, here they were, and we had to build them up a little bit. Uh, we had attacking units coming into this hex. Doesn't seem like they can... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, they attack... I got it. Axis attacking. Uh, 20th Indian Brigade, 20th Indian, 20th Air Division, reserving... What does that say? Oh, that must be Independent Brigade. Got it. It's not Indian. Uh, this is the Japanese attacking us. We had Fa Kui Chang out here leading the troops, and he did uh, hand them one strength loss. We also took one, and then same kind. Of, that's the same battle. I think maybe that's the same battle, and we finally retreated. Um, is that true, or did they retreat? Oh yeah, we did retreat. Okay, so we had to retreat back there land combat right down here uh subordinate as their general we also had a subordinate as our general we need to move our uh, one of our headquarters here a little closer it appears uh 125 from the hills one from the city plus 1.39 on the defender bump uh they took a loss we took a loss and then they tried to hit that again okay to no avail. We didn't move, so that looks good to me. We did put a hurting on them right there. Uh, same hex. Uh, one land loss for them. And again, one land loss. Ground strike. Where are these? Where is this ground strike happening? Uh, they came in here. Defender losses, land forces zero. We didn't really have anything there. I, uh, maybe they didn't have good recon on us at that place they did hit devoe though which i thought was interesting because often of course they're going to bomb before an invasion but we do have two divisions here and we're building another filipino force okay so that was the combat log last time uh this time we've got partisan attacks happening all over china we have a supply interdiction, and what the heck does that mean? That means uh, when a naval unit is within two hexes. Now, this is kind of cheating, right? Uh, one, two. Okay, well, it's within two, but I kind of feel like it's supposed to be by, you know, water. But uh, they're within two hexes here. We'll have to remember that. We can just park on the land, and if it's a little bit not landlocked, but if it's away from us, we don't have to go all the way into the port for supply interdiction. Uh, they destroyed zero stockpile, didn't have any effect. Uh, convoy attack out here. They did, sir, uh, they did sink a merchant marine. Now, we got two hit points on them, though. Our escorts did. We have nine escorts out here. They sunk one merchant marine. Okay. And then it happened again, and they took two more losses. It'll appear. Well, gosh darn, how many hit points do their subs have? I think... It's a different sub. Okay, I was going to say, wait a minute. Uh, something screwy is going on here. No, it's a different sub. Uh, so we're hitting them with our convoys. That's excellent. Uh, wonderful. Uh, again, the Hermes, I just, it's not able to attack down there. I think it maybe is because the planes aren't uh, to a high enough level of effectiveness. That could be it. I, I, I just don't know. Um, reports. Well... We added uh, transports. We talked about this last time. This goes through the escorts. What happened with the submarines and the escorts? Our forces, again, we're building. The Japanese are too. Uh, we're trying to catch up. We're playing a ch catch up game. Uh, we still have them having the most land losses and air losses. 
not quite naval losses because of Pearl Harbor. Let's go to our units. Of course, I like to go look at the submarines and anything like this has low supply. The extra, we've already put that in port. The 18th DD, we put that in port. I may be retreading a little bit of ground of what we did last time. If so, I apologize. I just want to make sure I cover everything. Um, grayling. And I think we already know the grayling. Oh, we put that in at Darwin. Okay. It cannot be repaired at Darwin. So we'll have to move it around to Sydney. But I just wanted it to be safe uh, since it was hurt. Uh, the Cerro has moved out of the Australian West Coast box and is ready to rumble. Uh, the Pike, all right, the Pike is down here in Sydney. It needs to repair one more point. And we have the Bullhead. It's the Bullhead up to. Now, it got attacked by air, so obviously uh, air units can't attack these. We've got it in raider mode, and now it's a matter of, well, where the heck do we want to put it in raider mode i was thinking about getting down in around here and just like trying to do a quick little strike uh subs have a pretty decent range about them uh for their uh attacks it could be up to five hexes away and so i was thinking about coming down here and maybe trying to hit that uh let's see if we can get away with that now the problem is we're not going to get there with an operation point left and so it's really going to have to be a next turn kind of thing. So in that case, maybe we go ahead, and this is how far we could move in two, in two, in two. Maybe we take this around to, and put it in at Moresby? Does that make sense? Or do we put it in at Townsville? Let's put it in at Townsville. All right, so the bullhead is in. Uh, let's go back to our reports and units. And we had one new one, the Cerro, I can't remember if we moved that or not yet. So let's go find out. Um, did I say the Cerro? Oh, right. Did we already? Yeah, that's the one there. I'm sorry. It's the Cutlass. The Cutlass is ready to sail. Uh, the Cutlass is a long range sub, which is good. I, I seem to prefer those over the attack subs because the attack subs, while good on the surface, um, they don't have as much supply when they go out of port and so they've got to keep returning all the time uh so let's move the cutlass if we can all right it's in at san diego there's the cutlass we'll click off that and we'll get it going let's get it out here past the hawaiians and then we'll do our second operation point we're going to take it out here by canton uh to begin with to begin with Oh, you know why? Well, I wish that was on Raider mode, uh, but I don't. Th I think we're fine. Uh, but always turn those to Raider. I say that every time, don't I? I'm just like, oh my gosh, shoot. Uh, let's go back to San Diego and see if there's anything else we can do. Well, first of all, let's finish uh, what we're doing here. I guess war panel. Uh, 23 points for the UK. The US now has 58 points, but I'm going to wait. I think this takes like 60 points. Uh, and so I'm going to wait to do this uh, code encryption to try to break the Japanese code. It's kind of a cool mechanic. Uh, China has none of this stuff. Uh, none of these guys will. Okay, let's go to advancements. All right. Let's see if we have any more research centers. We do not. Long-range subs will go up to a 42 very soon. 56 days. That looks good. And then uh, the Chinese will upgrade their units uh, in the not-too-distant future. Convoys. All right. Uh, we're starting to build up a little bit of an oil stockpile. Uh, it's not great yet, but we're building a little bit. Um the UK has 47 merchant marines. Now, we just had one sunk, and so I'm kind of curious. 592. I thought we had this on a 3, but we must not have because we're not showing we can take any more production. We could take some oil somewhere, but I'm really kind of doing that more out of the US directly into Australia. New Zealand will look at their oil if they have an oil problem at all. Uh, because they did previously. Well, shoot, while we're talking about it, we may as well go look. Let's go down here. 
um, get off that screen. We'll get in at Auckland. They've got 12 oil uh, for the Kiwis. Okay, actually, I want to see this air unit. Did it rebuild this time? It did not. Come on, build that up. I need it. I need it. Uh, okay, well, I think these are fine for now. Uh, we, we don't have any more escorts. I keep trying to put one more in there, but we don't have it. You essentially need five escorts per, per merchant marine, um, and we don't have anywhere near that many merchant marines. I, I wish we did, but we don't have nearly that many in there, so we're actually running some extra escort that we don't even really need. Uh, the U.S., you know, they've got 10 in the South Pacific. They've got an active convoy zone. Let's go back to this. What other? Okay, so it is just Indian and South Pacific. Uh, nothing else to do here. Uh, the Chinese could start exporting stuff out. Eh, that would seem gamey to me. And also, uh, we want to make sure that they have what they need. Uh, let's go to the build queue. Build queue, uh, the UK has got 130 in the stockpile well that would allow them to build an infantry division uh, let's look at the deployment for the UK as it is right now we've got two divisions coming the 81st and the 82nd in the not too distant future we've got two transports coming in the not too distant future and when we look back at build we'll see how it's looking for escorts we've got two anti-air defense i went a little crazy building those last time and then it's a bunch of ships but the vast majority of them do not show up until 1944 you know it's got me scratching my head whether i should just let the uk keep building that stockpile and maybe build up their navy a little bit um <clears throat> I think I am going to let them sit this time. We could get another division, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on the UK. Uh, oh, transport ships. We've now got 20. So we've got stuff in, in uh, Africa that will move up to India probably. Maybe one to Australia, one to India, something like that. U.S. got 314. Okay, that would allow us almost, yeah, it would allow us to build an air superiority group. I do like those. Uh, we could, you know, save up and get a strategic bombing group. Uh, we've got one. We've got several now tactical fight or tactical bombing groups. Uh, do, 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 you know, we'll see. Look at that anti-sub warfare. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Don't have one of those. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. Uh, ground attack group, same ideas here, right? Uh, with the U.S. this time. I kind of like those marine units. Uh, I think we're doing okay on transports. Well, I was just on the screen. Let's go look. We've got 20, but we've got a lot in the build queue. Let's go to the U.S. Uh, we've got a lot of anti-air defense. Now, this we moved out of the U.S. West Coast uh, partially. And so, you know, that's going to be coming right back on map next time. The Indiana will launch this time, the battleship division. So we'll have yet another battleship. We've got a lot of battleships. Uh, the Wasp shows up in June 1940. Look at all of the stuff we get. Transport, merch marines. we got a lot of stuff on the way. More merch marines, more transports. Now, we built some of this. Some of it's just showing up naturally. This is what I wanted to really see. First marine, third fighter third tactical uh, battleships, fourth fighter. Okay, so we're going to be getting a lot of air superiority. I guess ultimately we just build another unit. Um, I mean, do we dare build a, ar an armor core? How about a mechanized core? Uh, let's get to the U.S. Mechanized core. That's 360 armor 432 a mountain core we don't have one of those uh paratroopers hmm that could be interesting uh we could do an infantry core large i think that i guess that's what i'm going to do this time let's just go ahead and purchase that and we'll have a whole nother core coming in, three full divisions. And after that, then maybe we'll start looking at more naval, uh, more air force uh, for support. Did I want to do anything else? Is there something else I should do? Eh, I don't feel like there is. So we're just going to leave that in the stockpile. Uh, Soviet Union. 
okay. They're getting close to where they could build a unit, I think. 234. Okay, so they're getting fairly close. Uh, the Chinese, 174. They need 180 for an infantry army. All right, next time, I think we know what we'll be doing. Australia's got 160. Let's build another infantry unit for the, the Aussies. And there we go. There's one. Hell, they've got enough for two. Uh, I wouldn't mind maybe building up, well, they can only do destroyers, cruisers, and patrol groups, right? Air Force, all right. Um, let's go look at their build queue, because I was thinking about anti-air for the uh, Australians as well. We've got one building. That's June 27th. Why don't we build one more? Let's go into support. We'll do anti-air. It's 15. Oh, shoot. That was for the Brits. I uh, cancel that. Aha! You can cancel things uh, if you do it right when it happens. Uh, purchase. Okay. And let's make sure we didn't build that. And another way that you can do it is the British. Yeah, we did actually do one, right? Yeah, it looks like we did. So the other way you can do that is go to the Brits and support uh, anti-air in build queue, undo last build unit. Let's see if our stockpile goes back up. Oh, I guess we, maybe we already did that. Um... I'm still seeing it there. We'll have to come back and check that. U.S., a lot of anti-air, of course. Australians did have one. Let's build another one. That's what I've been trying to do. Okay, so uh, support anti-air. 82. Right, okay. So let's purchase that. Oh, I see what it did. We built that. Oh, it took this one back because that was the last one in the build queue. Uh, got it. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird, right? Because that was in the UK build queue. Uh, well, anyway, let's move on. Canada, communist China. Uh, the communists can not quite build a unit, but we're getting there. In India, they've got 79. Does that give us an infantry division? It does. And let's do anti-tank. We'll purchase that bad boy. We may need another headquarters at some point, uh, but right now all of our forces are bunched, so they really don't. So they're back to down to one in the stockpile. Uh, New Zealand has 32. Okay. Uh, and the Philippines building up again. Let's keep spamming units into the Philippines. Okay, I think that does it for the build queue this time. Um, now then. What do we want to start moving off the U.S. West Coast? Because we have transports to do it. Uh, the North Carolina, this is a, our brand new, a brand new battleship. It's down here, 144. Let's get this out to Pearl Harbor. Okay, we'll go put that into Pearl Harbor. Now then, um strategic group we definitely don't need to move that yet we've got an infantry division that we could move not really we got to get it into port here we've got another inf we've got this infantry division but this one's 10 of 10. i actually want these two to swap places there we go uh and this one is the one that's on garrison right okay perfect and then this one is on he's also on garrison we could move him out though and move this unit back in um he's 10 of 10 we may as well let's put him on a transfer oh we can't i bet you that's because he's on garrison because he's got half the move points i bet you that's the case uh let's undo that move and let's see if we could put the yeah we could put this one on um, interesting. Oh, and also, it doesn't cost you 20. It only costs you 10. It's just showing you there's 20 total available. Uh, what is this air unit? We've got a tactical group here, tactical bombing group. I kind of want to get this out and moving. 
Well, let's go look at what else we could send. We could send the 24th Infantry Division. We could send a headquarters. Now, we don't really have a U.S. headquarters out there. This is our first one. Uh, hey, do we have enough points to put uh, MacArthur in there? We do. Okay, so we're going to have MacArthur in charge of the first U.S. Army. Okay, Douglas MacArthur. Uh, 40th Division could move out. It's a 10 of 10 as well. All right. And then we have, whoops, we've got all of these battleships still repairing. And we've got another tactical group up here, 10 of 20. This one is 20 of 20. So that's the one you'd want to take, right? Uh, I'm no mathematician, but that seems better to me. We have an infantry corps small. Okay, interesting. And then... We've got an infantry corps large. Now, this is landlocked. Portland's considered landlocked. Uh, as you can see, we can't put them on the transports. We've got to remember that. Um, here we've got an infantry corps large. We obviously couldn't take all of it, and it's 15 of 30. What ship do we have here? We have a destroyer that's kind of building up. Okay, I'm going to take one of these tactical groups out. I think I'm going to take the one that's 20 of 20. We'll embark it. Now, it's going to take all of our escorts this time. Is that a good idea? Sure. Um, so he's now embarked. There you see it. Third U.S. bomber group, but it's on a ship. And let's put it through the Australian whirly bout. I'm going to start calling that the whirly bout. Uh, and I think that's all we can do on the West Coast. Uh, let's now go to the U.S. We're using all 30 tra of our transports. Okay, where do, where else do we have a transport going along? It must have come out of the Whirly about. Uh, let's go down to that. Is it? Or have we just not disembarked yet? That's also possible. Or we did it this turn before I came back. <laughs> that's very possible. And that, I think that's what we did. It's right up here. When the 38th Infantry Division landed, uh, you know, this turn, the transports took them there. It landed, but we won't get those back until next turn. Uh, right. We can't move the Maryland. I think we kind of knew that. Uh, here in Moresby, we've got that, still got that 112th garrison. We do have a United States unit that will try to get down to Milne Bay. We've got this tactical group, which is, you know, kind of fighting it out a little bit. Tried to bomb this group last time, and I guess we could bomb them this time if we really wanted to. Uh, do we want to? Let's give it a shot. See what happens. Okay, no losses. All right. Uh, let's hit it again. Okay, one and one. Um, let's go look at the battle log for that. This turn, so naval airstrike. Uh, nothing happened. Okay. Oh, we sunk them. Nice. Uh, the USA FFE hit the Ninth Coastal Group and sunk it. Wow, that's fun. Man, I almost jumped out of my seat. <laughs> it's the first time we've really had a whole lot of battle. To be honest with you, uh, that was that was that was so cool. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't that. It wasn't that big. Uh, but that was fun. Okay, didn't I say I was going to maybe, okay, they are on active. I just wanted to make sure. What about Johnston Island? Do we want to move something out to Johnston Island? I kind of do, uh, but we don't have any escorts uh, to take. We could take one of these out because we're going to be bringing more over, right? So we could. Uh, we've got an infantry division. we got all kinds of stuff here as far as naval goes. Just making sure no subs are in there. I didn't think they were. This is our one air superiority group now. Um, it's kind of got to stay at Pearl Harbor, doesn't it? I mean, you can't, you can't leave Pearl Harbor complete. Oh, wait a minute. So this is the Cutlass. We can take it one more operation point. All right. Let's do it. I guess I should have taken this through the whirly bout. Uh, hmm. Now I kind of want to stick it on like the escort lane and help out that way if we can. If there's anything to help out, I don't know that there is. But we're just going to take it straight down the escort lane all the way to Australia. Uh, just kind of run some interference there uh, for our escort ships. Okay, uh, let's let's back up here. 
got all of these moved. I don't think there's anything to do out here. We decided to keep that active. We've got the one at Midway active. Uh, maybe I will take something to Johnston. The one at Canton, uh, Canton is active just because if the Japanese get there, I feel like, and, and I could be wrong about this, but I feel like if the Japanese get there, we're not going to have time. You know, we may not have time. How about that? Uh, to do anything. Okay, that's on Garrison, and that's how I want it. Auckland is active. That's fine. Twenty uh, seventh DD. They're ready to roll. I actually want to bring them over here uh, to run some of this escort, but close to Sydney and Brisbane. I feel like if we're going to have a problem, it's going to be right over here. So I'm going to have that destroyer group right there, um, and it's they protect within twelve hexes on either direction so it's 24 total right uh so he's going to be out there yeah come on tactical group i've got them on priority but they're just not building very fast that's for sure suva what's going on suva redeploy no we don't want to do that i'm glad you've got anti-air guns and let's keep it that way uh we have you know uh, one, one of our two main task forces is just sitting here at Suva in wait. Uh, we've got all kinds of islands out here we could go put troops on. I've now brought that tactical group over. I think we'll have uh, 20 escorts available next time. Um, this is on active. You could question whether that really needs to be done. I could move this also over here into a sea lane to help with any kind of sub hunting. Uh, like back over in here, or I could move it straight into Moresby. But I think maybe I'll leave that one there for now. I, I'm tempted to move one of these battleship groups that are in here over. Well, we've only got two. I say only as if that's, you know, not much, but maybe out of Sydney. That's where we'll bring help there. We didn't look at Pago. Pago also has anti air guns. Um,. Okay, we've got a destroyer squad and a cruiser destroyer squad here. That's fine. Leave that as is. Get off that. We've got our, our uh, destroyer squadron there. He should be on garrison. As we move up here, we've got the, an Aussie headquarters. In Sydney, we've got this unit. Uh, he's also on garrison. Uh, yeah, the Canberra. And we've also got this squad that just put in. Uh, the Pike is put in, the Arizona is put in. We'll eventually get them up near Moresby or over to Nomaya. I may have actually waited a little too late. Oh, I don't want to say too late, but I would have liked to have done it sooner. Um, Brisbane, okay. We could put a force in Rockhampton. Uh, we've got this force in Townsville. We've got it in active status. I'm going to take that down to Garrison. Uh, we've got Carnes in garrison status, and then we've got the Houston. Oh, okay, so we've got the Houston and the Colorado uh, groups here. Why don't we take the Colorado, put that in at Moresby, and we'll take. Mm, do I dare take both? I don't think so. I think I'll leave. I'll leave that there for now. Townsville obviously is very important. It's a very. It's one of the few places in Australia they could you know, reasonably invade. So let's, you know, keep something there. Man, I'm so happy I sunk that ship. God darn it, that makes me giggly. Uh, the Colorado's up here, right. USAAF, you're protecting everybody, my friend. Got those, we moved those. The Maryland needs to get out of there. Now it's got two of four. We really needed to get it out of there. Uh, this unit still moving through, the is moving through the desert, I should say. Uh, this unit, uh, is this the one we take over to Port Hedland? Yeah, let's do it. Let's move it over there. Uh, so we've got Australian units, you know, kind of set at least something over here. That's another halfway possible chance the Japanese could attack there. It seems very, very unlikely, but I guess anything's possible. Uh, looking good in the Philippines, nothing to do there. Uh, eventually we'll get back up in Borneo. We'll try to restore the rainforest. Um, all right. I guess that kind of leaves us with 
East Africa. Um, we did put this uh, Valiant into Perth, but I'm kind of tempted to bring it up here. It's only got three days supply. It's gonna burn oil. How much oil does this sucker or does this squadron use? Well, it's only one. All right, let's bring him up there, and you know that should almost affect this sub if it moves at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen. Okay, it's not quite close enough, so let's move it like there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we get into any kind of a sub scrap as the kids call it. Uh, UK 2nd Division, let's put you on a transport. All right, well, we got to click on it after it comes on the transport because it's like a different unit now. Um, now, I had talked about maybe putting one of these over in Australia, uh, maybe at Darwin or even all the way to Moresby. Do I dare? I do. Okay, how can how far can we get on two points? Uh, okay, we can get all the way in. Is there? Ooh, we can't quite get into Perth. There's no port there. Ah, shoot. Well constructed, Alvaro. You can't quite get into a port here. All right, I'm gonna put it right there and just hug the coast of Australia a little bit, and we're gonna take that to Darwin, and then this unit. I guess, the UK 70th, UK 5th, 42 Assault or 42 Anti-Tank. Well, let's take the Anti-Tank. Uh, oh, I see. So you got, you've got to have full operation points to put it on a transport. Okay, well, that makes sense. Um, next time, we'll bring that up here and really start building a British force up here to eventually start counterattacking. That's coming soon. Coming attractions. Uh, what's happening in Colombo? We've still got these big bad boy units. Prince of Wales still needs to build up a little bit. Uh, we can't really do much with this because the damn Hermes can't do anything. And it's driving me nuts. Uh, it also, by the way, rain will affect whether you can attack something. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to try it. Okay, Take that out. I think it's got to have something to do with this 10% effectiveness because I know you could do it. We've watched the AI do it. It's got to be within three hexes. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. It's got to be within at least three, but let's take it all the way to two. I think we can still undo the turn. Yep, you just can't. You can't do it. Okay, uh, there's, there's a reason for that, and we'll just have to dig and figure out why. Uh, none of these units, nothing going on there. Okay, so we're over here now. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to do in Colombo. I mean, those units are just going to sit there a little while longer. until. I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to go out and get in these naval battles if they're not in any way helping you in the uh, on the ground. That's just my take on it. Now, it looks like the Japanese might be falling back a little bit. Am I crazy? That's a 5 of 10 unit. That's a 6 of 10 unit. Six, four, four. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Uh, the supply here is not great. I'm going to actually put it in better supply. It's got a six of ten strength, or I could back it up, I guess. Uh, but I like it right behind this river, actually. You know what? I may just not move them this time. Um, let's move the British unit up, though, into very good supply and the headquarters. This unit. Uh, the Lahore division that we just put down here, I'm tempted to to move this, well, for one, oh, I can't move it. I just set it down here. Got it. Okay. Or we just dropped it off. Um, no, 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 no. We wouldn't have dropped it off. That's an Indian division. So we just set it down there. Uh, I'm going to move it here, and I may rail it down, I don't know. I mean, what really needs protected? I, are the Japanese just going to land out here? I mean, even if they did, I guess we could react to it. Uh, we don't have a, anything in Delhi. I guess they could sail all the way around here to Bombay and really put us in a bind. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We need all the Indian units we can get right now. Uh, British units moving out here pretty quick. It's a 1942 assault squad. Uh, some of these Indian, like this Indian units, 1942 assault, 
uh, 42 assault. Okay, so these are a little stronger than I thought. That's a 40 anti-tank, 41, 42, 42. All right, all right, I was just curious. Uh, we may get on the offensive, get a couple more British units up here, and we'll see what happens. Now, we've got this unit completely surrounded. Uh, now, we would be attacking across the river. It's in garrison mode, and I kind of want to attack it. <laughs> what? Oh, you do? All right. Um, we're not getting great odds there. Okay. If we do shift, it's one to one, and that's mainly because because we're attacking across this river, and it is well dug in, right? It's got a two uh, entrenchment. Hmm. Now, see, I'm tempted to move down there, so he's not at least not attacking across the river because that really hurts, uh, obviously, right? Hmm. We're going to leave that for now, for now. 32nd Army Group, I believe this could potentially start kind of moving down this way. Uh, or we could move right back around here and play a little more defense from this direction. I think that's what I'll do, because these are on garrison. And so let's move him around. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to leave that open. I may drop one of these units back. Um, all right, he's directly across the river, but he's in bad supply here. I think I'll move him over. Yeah, I may just wait on all this. We're just not in a position to be doing counterattacks in China yet. I'm going to move him back up here. I'm going to move this guy over. That potentially would allow me to start moving this way. All right. Okay. Um, to completely surround this yet again. Uh, let's try this attack. Okay, three to one odds. Is that what we want? Do we want three to one? I want three to one odds. What if this guy moves down back here as well? Well, that starts to expose this. Now, I think he's going to get shattered this time if we don't look out. He's eight of 30. So why don't we get him out of here a little bit? A little bit. Uh, it, did I like that? Not really. Um, hmm. All right. Let's try this three to one attack. And see what happens. Do I want to? Do I dare? He's 19. He's 19. He's 18 or 19. I think this guy's ripe to be. He's double entrenched, though. All right, we're gonna let him wait one more turn. I kind of wish I wouldn't have given that up. That I think that was a bad move on my part. I don't think there's anything else I can get over there or in there. Uh, that was a good defensive position. It was doubly dug in. Let's get in here. Let's get in here tight. Yeah, that was an urban area. It's also a main supply, which gives the Japanese supply out here. Shoot, I don't like that. I'm actually going to move. Oh, do I dare do this? These guys are dug in, but I think I can move the whole line. Okay, I'm going to move him there. I'm going to move him there. I'm going to move him there. I know entrenchment's important. Uh, technically, I would say that was a mistake. <laughs> technically. Uh, I'm going to go... Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hmm. I don't want that unit to get down in here. All right. Well, I'm going to go right there. Hopefully that holds that off. I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling that unit was going to get shattered anyway. Uh, that being said, I, I, I wish I wouldn't have moved back out of that. Now they don't have entrenchment, any of them. Uh, and I feel like out here, man, you got to have entrenchment. You just have to. Uh, where? How far can this unit move? Well, he's on the planes for a reason. 
I wouldn't mind getting right up there. Uh, he's kind of serving as backup if this unit gets run over. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting into this urban area. Okay, Cyan. They're now back here uh, sniffing around Yanan. I was going to bring this communist unit over here because, quite frankly, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite frankly, the Japanese don't seem too interested in dealing. Uh, what I'm thinking is if I'm right here, I don't know. Can I not attack through here? Is that like considered red China or something? And you can only be in this zone? Probably. I don't know. We'll find out next time. Uh, okay. I think we've moved everything. Why don't we run the turn and see what happens? And we did speed this up last time, and I really thought it was just about the right speed. Boy, I'm really concerned about what's going to happen out here uh, without entrenchment. Hopefully they don't go after us too hard this turn. All right, they did move north into kind of this red Chinese area. I may back up and get entrenched now, just to make sure. Uh, with that movement, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm moving this cavalry up just slightly. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know really what their plan is here, but man, I sure hope they don't move that level 8 down in there before I can get back there. Uh, wow. Okay, they took two damage, but he had to retreat out of Yanan. All right, well, now they're pushing. Here they come. Straight for Changsha. And they, wow, they destroyed that unit. Like nothing. Now, he, okay, well, we, we did some damage there. Looks like some one of their units maybe got shattered. Is that right? Or I mean, it just seemed to fly off like it got routed. We've got an iron wall in Burma. <laughs> yeah, we've been kicked out of uh, all the nice places in Burma, but we've got an iron wall there. More Chinese moves, more moves in China. Not Chinese moves, we're the Chinese. We still have this unit isolated. Why are they backing up, I wonder? Boy, I'd be coming after Changsha. Full guns ablazing. I was thinking about playing a uh, play by email game with someone on the channel. Uh, if that sounds good to you, hey, let me know. Uh, I've got a volunteer. Uh, I'm sorry, I forget your name. The commenter that said, I'm going to respond to you because I think, hey, let's get it on. Let's play a game on the channel. That would be fun. Uh, I'll take the Axis. I'll take the Japanese if you want. Or, I mean, if you want to play the Japanese, that's fine too. All right, we got bombed at DeVoe again. All right, well, that was, uh, that was that turn. Allies deliver resources to China via the air hump. All right, we're still doing the air hump over the Himalayas. UK's transport times 10. Excellent. Uh, we've got, as the US, we've got a lot deploying this time, but I want to go look out here in China and kind of figure out what the heck happened. 
Um, they had that eight unit. They decided not to move that across the river. I think I would have. I would have been coming out of Changsha like a heat-seeking missile. Now, this unit, how that's still getting supply, I don't know. It's still representing a one. If I click here, let's go down and uh, shift it and bring everybody. Yeah, it's seven to one. I think we can destroy that unit this time. I also think we can then get this unit up here, get this unit over here. I, you know, we're going to have to start shifting this line the best we can. Uh, let's go actually. Okay, we have another division ready. We knew that. We got a new battleship, new garrison, new division, four anti air. Excellent. Uh, let's go look at the cam combat log and see what happened. All right, partisan activity, partisan activity, uh, partisan activity. Then we had land combat out here. Uh, they lost two strength points. Uh, we lost one. Okay. And, you know, we held that time. Then they attacked again. We took another strength point loss. Then they attacked again, no losses on either side, but we did have to retreat. Now this battle down here, one and one for losses, we had to retreat, okay. Um, right there, yeah, we had to retreat out of this as well. We did take a strength point loss, and we also took a strength point loss there, but we also dealt one out and we held. Uh, we held again on a one and one, and then this was a one and one, uh, but we held there. Ground strike on DeVoe didn't hurt our land forces, and another air strike. On the current turn, we have partisan activity going on all the time. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I think I'm going to call this one an episode. It is now May 10th, 1942. It may be time for the U.S. to start to flex some muscles. We've got British uh, reinforcements yet again coming in. We're going to be dropping them off in Burma. We're going to get them up here to the front lines, and we may start trying to push back towards Rangoon. We shall see. We've also got this British unit down here. Uh, there were no convoy attacks this time, by the way. I think we're beefing that up pretty well. We've got this unit out here. We're going to uh, sail this into Darwin, does he? Yeah, I think we do. I think we're looking a lot better out here uh, on Papua New Guinea. So let's go into Darwin there. And now that we're here, we can disembark, I hope. Yeah, UK 2nd Division. We will disembark, and they get spit out uh, right back here. That's fine, I think. I don't know. Maybe you'd want one out here on the island. Is that Does that make sense? Eh, not really. Uh, this is probably where you would want it. Uh, but we're going to start beefing Darwin, and that looks, uh, that looks good. If we look at our build, uh, we now have only 10 transport in use for the uk that was the what we just put in the us uh has 20 in use but uh we'll have 10 we can ship something else out oh we went through the whirly gig down here and uh this tactical group can now set up somewhere uh we'll have to decide next time okay thank you guys so much for joining me uh i'm still really enjoying the game uh like i said i think i'll play somebody uh by email that that could be fun and uh, i'll take either side I'll take either side. I'm still learning the game. So, you know, if you're a master, a grandmaster, come to the dojo and take down the sensei. It, it could be a lot of fun. Anyway, strategy gaming dojo. Have a good one. I'll talk to you next time.